What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today what I want to take a look at is comparing decimals. Uh, I find students uh, struggle with this a lot. Uh, it can be tricky. You know, comparing numbers, sure, can be kind of easy if they're whole numbers. When you throw in decimals, things get kind of tricky. Somebody else who I know probably struggles with this is Tommy. What do you think, Tommy? Oh, yeah. You do struggle with this? They're hard. Okay, so if they're hard, would you like to come over here and try it? Sure. All right, come here. Ow! Oh! Ow! My arm! That hurts! You're fine. Ah! Hey! That kind of hurt! No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I apologize. Oh, man! Decimals! Ah! <laughs> yeah, I know. But the good news is, I'm going to explain to you uh, how to do these. And you're going to see that they're actually uh, pretty easy. And we're going to even take a look, though, at Tommy. Uh, what happens when you get decimals that are also negative? I, negative. I, I tell you, buddy, it's going to be okay, though, okay, because I'm going to teach you some teach you some tips and some tricks on how to figure this stuff out. First, we're going to start with positive numbers, all right, and comparing decimals. And right now, we're only going to go to the thousands place uh, because you'll find the thousands place uh, after that, it's just the same rules apply. Oh, okay, sure, go ahead. All right, so first off, let's review some of the place values. So at the decimal point, the decimal point is always between the two place values, the ones and the tenths, okay? Most people know how to go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands to the left this way, which is totally good, but being able to go to the right of the decimal point is important too. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so right past the decimal on our right is our tenths place. Okay, that's represented by one tenth, something like that. That's That would be... Another example would be 0.1, okay? We would say that one-tenths or tenths. Got it? Yeah, tenths. Exactly, tenths. The next part is a hundredths, and then after that is thousandths, okay? It's actually just the reverse of the side to the left. The difference is you add the ths to it, right? Now notice there's something missing there. What don't you see? Uh, once. Exactly, there is no once. Okay, that's really important. That's because we're in a place value of tens. There is no ones. So it's just tenths, hundreds, thousands. Are you with me? I think so. Okay, so we're going to start at this problem right here. Now, I just want to know greater than, less than, equal to. Uh, let's see. So 3.5, I don't know. I know, it gets kind of tricky, right? Because you'll notice, and here's my first tip for you, Tommy. You'll notice that the 3 is the same, which is good right? But this one right here has more numbers, more place values than this one right here. So some kids get really confused because they'll say, oh, this 50 is bigger, so it's 3.50. That's what I was going to say. Well, unfortunately, that's incorrect. Oh, man. But, but 50 is bigger than 5. I know 50 is bigger than 5, but uh, even though that's the case, we have to compare them with the same number of place values. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up in this chart right here. I'm going to use this chart to set that up, okay? Okay. So that being said, this first number here is 3 in the ones place. Then I have point and I have 5 tenths. You with me? Yeah, I see it. Okay. The next one is 3, 5, and 0. Okay. Now, you won't change a number by adding zeros to the right side of it, or to the left side of it, for that matter, uh, for right now. You won't change a number's value. You don't? No. So when first tip and trick, when you're comparing decimals, make them have the same number of numbers, okay? So for example, I just added a zero to this guy. I can do that. I could add zeros to both of these. It doesn't matter. It's actually not changing that number. What it does change is how I say it, but it's value doesn't actually change. Here's a perfect example of that. If I had the number 3, Tommy, I could add 3.00000000 to it. Does it change the fact that it's still 3? No, it's still 3. It just has unnecessary zeros. It does have unnecessary zeros. They're not necessary. You're right. But when I'm comparing numbers like these decimals, it's really important to have them have the same. Okay? Because then that allows me to take a look at comparing them. So what do you notice about 3.5? and 3.50, Tommy. Wait, when you add the zero, they're the exact same thing. Exactly. And that's because 3.5 and 3.50 are actually the exact same thing. And the only way you would know that is for my first tipper trick, and that's adding zeros so they have the same number. Ah, oh, okay. 
So let's take a look at this next one. What do you notice about this next one, Tommy? Uh, well, they don't have the same number of numbers. Exactly. They don't have the same number of numbers. Good call. So I'm going to rewrite them. Let's go 3.05 and 3.5. So let's give them the same amount of numbers. Just like that. So what do you notice? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. So this is where we get into what does this mean now? So this is my second tip or trick, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to start at the left side, okay? We're going to notice, obviously, there's no place value numbers here, right? Zeros, zeros. Notice these are the same. So, so far, because of the ones place, these are equal. You with me? Yeah. Now we're going to look at the next place value. That's the tenths. Okay, I got to the tenths, and is there a number bigger than the other number of the tenths? Yeah. Five is bigger than zero. Exactly. Five is bigger than zero. So because right there, stop, you don't have to look at any more because five is bigger than zero. That means 3.5 is greater than 3.05. Really? It's that easy? It's really that easy. You just got to look and see based on place value. Even though this number right here, 5, is bigger than 0, that doesn't matter. Because right here is smaller than here. It's all about place value. Crazy! Yeah, it is pretty crazy, huh? All right, let's look at another one. So this right here is 9.635, or 9 and 635 thousandths. And the other one is 9 and 7 tenths, or 9.7. So we're going to rewrite those real quick. We're going to take a look at them, and we're going to see if you can do this, Tommy. 9.7 and 9.635. Okay, so first I want to add some zeros. Okay, first you want to add some zeros. That's a good call in that first step, adding some zeros. So there you go. Okay, so now... Look at the place value. Look at the place value. Okay, so ones. What do you notice about them? Same. Okay, so they're the same. Tenths. What do you notice about them? Uh, seven is bigger than six. Seven is bigger than six. So what does that mean? That means 9.7 is bigger. Bigger! Yeah, it's bigger. Even though this looks like 635 and looks like it's bigger than seven, it's not. And that's why you add these zero placeholders, and that's why you compare those place values with those two tricks. Does that make sense? Yeah, it sure does. Oh, man. That makes it easy. Sure does. All right, let's look at this last one. One more, okay? And then we'll talk about what happens when they're negative numbers. Oh, man, I forgot you were going to do that. I know. You forgot I was going to do that. I'm sorry. But it's important that we look at negative numbers because in reality, you're going to see those in real life, too. So we're going to start with this one. This is 7.3. Oh, excuse me, 7.639, and then 7.64. All right, what are you going to do? Uh, add a zero. Okay. Now compare. All right, now compare. So let's look at the ones. What do you notice? Same. Okay, let's look at the tenths. What do you notice? Same. Okay, let's look at hundredths. What do you notice? The whore, the, yeah, the whore, it's bigger, bigger! It is bigger, so what does that mean? Uh, that means 7.6 whore is bigger than 7.639. It is bigger than 7.639, you're right, because you compared the place values. And that's really important when we look at this, okay? Okay, yeah, I think I get it. All right, let's do one more just to make sure we're on the same page with this, Tommy. So let's add in here, what if I did something like... 127.605 and 128.605. Hold on, I already know. It's 128.605 because the 8 is bigger than the 7 in the 1's place. Okay, well, apparently I didn't need to do that for you. You're already a rock star. Uh-huh. <laughs> Humble, too, aren't you? No, not really. Okay. Any any questions about these, Tommy? Or do you see any that you think might be tricky or when something happens? I don't think so. So if I had something like this. Which one is bigger? Uh, 7.01. Why? Because the one in the hundred slates is bigger than zero. Okay. I think you're getting it. Hopefully the rest of you guys at home are getting it. They are. <laughs> are you sure they are? 
If not, ask questions, okay? Comment. Questions. All right. Thank you, Tommy, for, for that. Now we're going to take a look at what happens when you get some negative numbers, Tommy. So I'm going to actually make all of these negatives. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Too late. Already did it. Oh, man. All right. Believe it or not, Tommy, there's only one difference when it comes to negative numbers. Only one? Yep, only one. So, and that difference is that it's the opposite of... I'll show you. This will make sense. So first off, we'll start with this this one because I think you'll be able to get this one. Negative 3.5 and negative 3.50. What do you do? Uh, what was that? I think I just got a text message. Oh, okay. That was crazy. I was like, what was that? <laughs> I silenced my cell phone now. Good call. All right. So you're still going to add a zero to it. Okay. So then they're equal. So they are equal. So that didn't change. So notice... Still, the first tip is to add zeros to the end, but that doesn't actually change the value of the number. Oh, okay. So, but we're going to look at this one right here, because this one is going to be a little bit different. Oh, man, you got rid of all the negatives. I did get rid of all the negatives. It's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix it. I'm going to fix it, okay? Okay. There we go. Negatives are back. All right. So, with that in mind, let's do this other one. This is 3.05, but it's negative, and this one is negative 3.5. Now, I'm still adding my zero. That trick is still the same. We want to have the same number of numbers to compare them in the place value. Okay. But now, if I want to know which one is greater than or equal to or less than, I have to look very carefully because these are negative. Okay. So, isn't it just negative 3.5 again? Ah, uh, it's not. And here is where this is, like I said, it's opposite. So, I noticed, Tommy, you started comparing these. You noticed those were the same, right? Yeah. And then you started comparing these, and you saw that the 5 was bigger. So you thought negative 3.50 is bigger, correct? Yeah. This is where it's the opposite, okay? With negative numbers, the bigger this number is actually the smaller the number is. No way. It's true. Think about it in terms of money. I like money. I know you like money. If this was $3.50, would you rather owe me $3.50 or $3.05? I don't want to owe you any money. I know you don't want to owe me any money. Just answer the question. Uh, three dollars and five cents. Why? Why would you rather do that? Because it's less. Because it's less money, right? Because you owe me less money, that means you actually have more money. I know that sounds really tricky, but basically it's the opposite. Because this is a zero, and this is a five, right? This number here, because it's negative, is actually bigger. No way way. So what that means is negative 3.05 is actually bigger than negative 3.5. Oh man, that's crazy. Can we do another one? Well, sure. We'll do another one. With negative numbers, what's important to remember, Tommy? That it's the opposite. It is the opposite of what? Positive. Positive numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's write this here. We'll do this. And these ones are negative. So we'll go negative 9.635 and negative 9.7. And zeros, and zeros, add them. Okay, I'm going to add them. Relax, give me a second. Add some zeros, because that doesn't change my number. Yeah, and it lets you compare. It lets me compare. So look at the ones. They're the same, right? Yeah, so keep going. Okay, so the tenths. Here's where we get tricky, Tommy. If they were positive, you know which one's bigger. But if they're negative, which one's bigger? When they're negative, it's the smaller number that's bigger. So the six, so negative 9.635. It's bigger than negative 9.7. <laughs> it is. You're totally right. And that's because, yes, 6 is bigger than 7, technically because it's negative. Right? Yeah, because you would owe more money. And I don't want to owe money. I don't. Okay, well, just, I get it. Don't want to owe money. Let's try one more. If these were negative, let's take a look at these ones. Okay. All right, so this is negative 7. 0.639, and this one here is negative 7.64. What do you do? Add a zero. Add a zero. Okay. Compare those. Those are the same. Those are the same. And what do you notice about the hundredth place? Uh, well, the four is bigger than the three, but they're negative. So that means the three is actually the bigger number, or less negative. So negative 7.639 is bigger than negative 6.4. Exactly. You did it. Nice job. Oh, man, this is easy.
easy. I like this stuff now. I'm so glad you like this stuff now, Tommy. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me with the video. Thanks, Tommy. I hope that helped you. It totally did. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. They don't have to subscribe, right? It's just about learning. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. It's okay. Unless you want to. Yeah, do it. Do it.